In this video, I'm showing you how you can turn yourself into Voldemort having a bad day. Do not take this video seriously, I'm well aware of how weird this looks. As I was making this, it started looking weirder and sadder and it's probably just because of the picture, at least I hope so, because if not, this video will be bloody useless. Anyway, in this video I'm showing you exactly how you can turn yourself into sad Voldemort, so without any further ado, let's get started. First, take a beautiful picture of yourself holding something thin and long. That sounded incredibly weird. Hold something like a pen or a paintbrush like I'm doing here. And make sure not to look sad because, well, because of this. As usual, mask yourself out with the pen tool. This time, however, you don't need to pay any attention to the hair. Instead, try to determine where the shape of your head goes. Because as you can see, Voldemort doesn't have quite a lot of hair, so, well. When you did that, we can start making you bald. Use the lasso tool to create a selection. You want to make sure to select the hair and areas around it like this. Then create a new solid color and use the eyedropper to select the color that's close to your skin color. After this, you can clip it with yourself and call it head. Perfect! Now it should pretty much look like you're wearing one of these cheap latex bald hat caps. <laughs> <clears throat> now use a brush to subtract your ear from the shape. You can decrease the opacity to see what you're doing, and when you're done you can bring the opacity back up to 100%. Now you can use a very soft big brush to soften the edges of the head layer. This way it's starting to look more like it's attached to the head. Oh boy. It's starting to look better, but it's still very flat. So to fix that, we're gonna select parts from the face and add them to the head. Use the lasso or whatever tool you want to select a part from your face. It depends on the angle of your photo which part is best. For me, it's obviously the cheek. When you have a selection, click on the subject and simply hit Ctrl C, Ctrl V. Move that layer up, clip it with the head and call it skin. Now you can move it around and use a layer mask to soften the edges. Simply do this over and over again to fill your entire head, so for this you kinda need to find the best way for you. It can be different for every image. Now it is still looking like shit. My image is very grainy, so I'm adding some noise to the head manually. Now let's fix the overall lighting. Add a new exposure adjustment layer and slightly bring up exposure. Clip it with everything, invert the mask and start painting on the areas that need to be brighter. You can do the same thing for darkening some areas. The only difference is bringing down the exposure value this time. You can do this with as many exposure adjustment layers as you want. And remember, you can play with opacity, setting blend modes to luminosity to make sure it doesn't affect the colors, all those kind of things. And by the way, it doesn't have to be perfect at all, I mean, Voldemort doesn't really have like a clean face either, so, well. Voldemort does not have eyebrows. Select your eyebrows and hit shift backspace. Make sure content aware is selected and hit ok. If this doesn't work properly, you can fix it manually with the clone stamp tool or the spot healing brush tool. Also, if you included the eyebrow in your main mask, make sure to remove that. Now let's change the skin color. Voldemort honestly looks like he just died, so let's try to recreate that. First, select everything except for the background and convert it into a smart object. You can call this subject. Create a new vibrance adjustment layer and clip it with the subject. Decrease the saturation a bit and use a brush to remove it from the clothes, paint brush and lips and eyes. I don't have to be too precise since my hoodie is black and my wand is brown, so desaturation wouldn't be at all noticeable. However, if you're wearing something red or yellow, you might want to be a little more precise here. Now add a new hue and saturation adjustment layer and clip it too. Hold Alt and drag and drop the layer from the previous layer on this one. Now slightly move the upper slider to the right, this gives a slight greenish tone. Voldemort also has this weird, well, stuff around his eyes, which makes him look like he's been drugged, so let's do that too. Add a new hue and saturation adjustment layer and make it a bit reddish. Start painting around the eyes. You can also add an exposure adjustment layer, put it beneath the color layer, copy the mask of the previous layer and bring down exposure. This way it gets darker and more intense. Now you should add another exposure adjustment layer which you can use as a general darken layer. So before we are finally gonna do the thing you've all been waiting for, let's explore some fun facts about Voldemort. So, for those who somehow don't know who Voldemort is, 
is basically the most powerful and dangerous wizard from JK Rowling's Harry Potter series. But did you know that even though he hates Half-Bloods, he is one himself? Voldemort is definitely not proud of his roots, or at least the origins of his father. After murdering his muggle family, Voldemort spent a great deal of time and effort covering up his attachment to the muggles. And even though you could have guessed this one, Voldemort is literally not capable of love. Voldemort's mother was a witch who became infatuated with a muggle named Tom Riddle SR. She decided to give Riddle a love potion and Voldemort was conceived while his father was still under its effects. This made Voldemort incapable of feeling the emotion of love, having never been the product of it. And the letter T in Voldemort was supposed to be silent. JK Rowling announced on her Twitter that the T in Voldemort is silent, but assures fans that she's the only one who pronounces it that way. Even though every movie made sure to have the T pronounced, it's still unsettling to think that Voldemort's iconic name was supposed to sound entirely different. Wow, who would have thought you'd learn something new today? Let's get back to the video. So now, the nose, the most iconic part of Voldemort. Double click on the smart object to access it. First add a new exposure adjustment layer, bring up exposure and paint a bit on the eyes to make them slightly brighter. Now the nose. Select the nose and copy and paste it. Call it nose and convert it into a smart object. Now select an area from the cheek, big enough for it to cover this area and copy and paste it too. Hide the nose and move the skin part to the left to kinda hide the nose. Make it a bit brighter with exposure and add a negative mask by holding Alt while clicking on the mask button. Now start painting back some areas. I also used Vibrance to desaturate it slightly. Now go to the mask of the subject and erase the nose. Unhide the nose, hit Ctrl T and select Warp. Warp it into a shape like this and hit Enter. Add a layer mask to it to erase some parts. You now want to find the balance between the shape of the nose and the mask of the subject. Now add a new black solid color and use the mask to paint the holes in the nose. You can set its blend mode to luminosity. Now hit Ctrl S and close the smart objects document. Add a new exposure adjustment layer, bring down exposure and clip it with the subject. Double click in the layer to access blend if. Hold alt and click on the slider to split it. Now bring the left one to the left a bit and hit ok. Invert the layer mask and start painting on these areas. Also set its blend mode to luminosity. Now we're gonna add a texture to the skin, add this image and hit Ctrl Shift U, which desaturates it. If it's a smart object this doesn't work by the way. Set its blend mode to multiply and convert it into a smart object. Use transform and warp to put it in the right position. Add a negative mask and start painting back the areas you wanted to show. Make sure the flow value of your brush is low so you can paint softer. Also clip this with the subject. Duplicate this layer and use Gaussian blur to blur this one. Now decrease the opacity of both layers and try to find the best balance. You can do the same thing for the neck and the hand if you want. Convert everything except for the background into one smart object and call it Voldemort. Now add this image, darken it, desaturate it a bit and add some blur to it. Make sure it looks a bit like this. Now clip a brightness and contrast adjustment layer to the subject and change the values according to your scene. Then add a new exposure adjustment layer and put it below the subject. Bring up exposure and use a brush to only show it at the left side. You can clip a new exposure adjustment layer to the subject, bring up exposure, hide the mask and start painting some highlights on the left side of Voldemort. In my image I decided the light comes from the two sides, so I added some light on the right too. Add a white solid color below the subject and invert its mask. You can use this for a soft glow behind Voldemort. Make sure to only have this glow at the side where there's bright highlights. You can do this same thing again but now with smoke brushes. To create some depth, you could do this smoke thing again but this time in front of the subject. By the way, I totally forgot about the wand. You can change this for any wand, obviously. I'm gonna replace it with the elder wand because, well, it's pretty straightforward. You can now perfectionize everything. The masks, the values, blend modes, colors, whatever you feel like you need to do. 
now it's time to hit Ctrl Alt Shift E. Convert your new layer into a smart object and go to Filter, Blur Gallery and choose Field Blur. Here you can set points to which you can attach a blur value. I personally want my face to be in focus and my hand to be out of focus because it's closer to the camera. When you have everything set you can go to the Noise tab and increase noise. As I said earlier, I have quite a lot of noise so I definitely need to do this. When you're done you can hit OK and finally add a camera raw filter. As usual this part is completely up to you however I strongly suggest you bring up clarity and texture quite a bit. This makes the image a whole lot sharper and more intense. So there you go, honestly he just looks like a spoiled child whose mom didn't buy him an ice cream. Like a teenager Voldemort with puberty issues. And what's also pretty funny is it took me this entire video to figure out the fact that my head is like way too big. So I fixed that real quick and it's better. I actually think it's still too big but whatever. Also it's super dumb how Voldemort is wearing a hoodie because... Alright, you know what, I'm, I'm gonna stop looking at this before I'm gonna change my mind about uploading this. Now let's hear it for my favorite, favorite Reddit submission for this video. Which is this adorable edit by VC Mustaches. I have no idea how to pronounce that actually, so well. This is just so cute. I love the composition and the lighting is pretty decent. Very well done. So there you have it. If you like this video, make sure to hit that like button and leave a comment. And if you enjoy my content, feel very very free to subscribe. It would mean the world to me. And I hope I will see you in my next video.